So I'm just gonna make a quick little video to show you what I'm talking about. This is the um, Type R cone. It's this series of Type R. I'm not sure exactly which Type R you have. These are the Type R voice coils. These are actually in immaculate shape. Um, however, what they do on these ones, these, the fourth generation only has a single spider. So this, this particular spider here isn't on the fourth generation. It just has the top one in between there. Uh, on this generation, there's a double spider, uh, top and, or bottom, top and bottom, it's upside down. Uh, and the spider, uh, the, the bottom spider is actually where the leads are. So these little stitched bits here are the leads and you can see them uh, where they connect to the terminals coming through there. So that being said, if you look at the coil right here, you have your pigtails there and there. And they, so this is your tinsel leads are embedded in your lower spider on this particular series. Uh, this is your upper spider. It doesn't have leads on it. Um, I'm trying to figure out what the best way to measure those would be because basically right here, like you can, if you run your thumb or finger along here, you can feel the wire, but then where the wire stops, there's a flat piece of, of, uh, uh, nickel so now this is actually a sun now but what I have in here is a type R voice coil that I uh, pulled out of a sub also in immaculate shape this uh, where my thumb is here this black line is this lower where I removed that lower glue so you can see just above that black line is where the nickel strips start there in pretty this one's in pretty rough shape it's got a hole in it where i removed the leads from it but there's four nickel strips running around this thing um, and those are what you need to get your multimeter on to see if you have a good quilt so what we do is we take our multimeter it's a cheap piece of junk but it works and we are going to put it onto two of the tinsel leads. So I'm just going to throw this on a tripod momentarily just so you can see, I can, um, like that. So we're going like that. Look at this guy. So you can see that. Can you even see that? Yeah, there's that. So you take these two tinsel leads. Now these are completely exposed because they've pulled apart. I'm not 100% sure how one would go about doing that that's weird oh of course that did nothing so one lead two leads you see the multimeter there reading 1.9 so two ohms and then this one the other lead on this side one point nine two ohms so this is a good coil is the 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 tinsel or the sorry the nickel strips are uh connected to the voice coil and the voice coil is in good shape this particular coil is going to go into this sundown the original sundown actually had a uh where is it small piece of crap oh i threw it in the garbage yeah it's over there somewhere uh a, a smaller so this is actually a quarter of an inch uh larger winding height so this is going to actually be a uh, it's a 500 watt sundown SA8, and I'm going to put a, a 500 watt Alpine Type R dual 2 ohm in it, and it will uh, have an increase in X max by about six millimeter or three millimeters, so from 19 to 22 or something like that. Might bottom out, don't care. It's for a friend of mine. He'll he'll be happy that I'm doing it for him for free, and it will it'll be it'll perform very well. Um, that being said, I'm not again entirely sure how one would go about getting at those leads because even if you you might be able to get it at it from the top here it's a little bit easier on the the uh 
in the fourth generation one with the black cones. Anyway, I'll send you this video. You can see what you think and if that's helpful or not. Um, my first, the first thing you want to do is make sure that your your coils are intact. If there's any issues with those, if they look like that. They're good. Yes, they should be, hypothetically speaking. But anyway, so that is what you're looking for. Uh, these wires at the top of those wires. You could probably scrape away a bit of the paper to expose some of the, the tin that's under the, it's not tin, it's nickel that's under there and read them there. And if you're getting, if you're getting your ohms at those locations, then your coil is good. If you're getting a bad reading, a zero or an overload, then your coil is shot. Um, so that would be the first thing I would check. If it's a, what happens with the, with the um, type R's often is, that this upper spider will start to get loose on the ones that only have a single. So not the double spider, like this is just the top spider on the spider spacer. This one came off the bottom like that, or well, I mean, it was actually technically over here this way, like that, because it went into the terminals. Anyway, if these start to go loosen up at the top here, then um, the, the actual lead itself will move with the spider and rip away from the the nickel it's another thing i've seen a lot of on type bars where they the the spider comes with if your spider is snug against the voice coil former it probably isn't the case and it could be a coil issue um but like i say i would i would check your your coil at these locations on either side of the two or the four that will be printed on them again it's it's you don't want to damage your, le your your pigtails at all so i wouldn't sand away at these to expose copper but if you expose a little bit of the nickel strip where the lead connects to it right beside it there you're not going to cause any issues and you can read off of that you don't have to cover that back up it's nickel it won't corrode ever and uh you can you can get a reading there that would be the easiest place to do it where the nickel strip starts um, and then once you've determined that your coil is good, then you got to figure out where you're coming separated from these tinsel leads. These tinsel leads, or sorry, not tinsel leads, these uh, nickel strips, sometimes they break. Lots of different things that can happen to them. Um, but like I say, it should be, shouldn't be too too difficult. I don't know which generation, which generation type R you have. Um, these are, these are the third, I think, or second or third, maybe second. Yeah, these are second. These are second generation type bars. So if you have a third or a fourth generation, they usually don't have the double spider pack. Anyway, take a look. See if that helps. Let me know.